Oh my God, this is so exciting. Hi everyone. If you're thinking about getting a Vitamix, I want to show you my certified refurbished Vitamix Explorian. I want to share the basics of how to use it, what kind of warranty I got with the used model, and my super easy recipe for vegan cashew cream sauce. Welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen, where I share easy, gluten-free, and dairy-free recipes to help you recover your health and feel great. I'm Carrie, and I have a master's degree in public health nutrition, and I've also used a real food diet to recover and manage my symptoms of PCOS, autoimmune disease, and chronic fatigue. My goal is to inspire you with recipes and tips to help you feel your best. So today's video is very special because I just bought a Vitamix. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that I've been using a Blendtec in my previous videos. But I had a Vitamix many years ago and I really missed some of the features of the Vitamix. For instance, I really miss being able to use the tamper to help push items down into the blade of the Vitamix. I also feel like the Vitamix is a little bit more powerful than the Blendtec and I really missed having that power. So I decided to buy a refurbished Vitamix. The main reason is because I wanted to save money. Vitamix has a refurbished section on their website, but I actually bought mine from Vitamix through Amazon. I ended up getting a Vitamix Explorian, I think that's how you say it, and I will link to the exact model in the description box below. And just in case you're wondering, a refurbished Vitamix comes with a five-year warranty and it's quality tested. It also has a brand new pitcher and lid. The used refurbished parts are the blade and the actual motor of the Vitamix. So I'm super excited to try my new old Vitamix Explorian with you. I haven't even used it yet. I've been saving this moment to share it with you on this video. And for my first recipe, I'm gonna make my vegan cashew cream sauce. And this recipe has been on my website, Clean Eating Kitchen, for many years. It's one of my favorites, especially because I gave up dairy about 10 years ago to help me manage my PCOS and adult acne. I do miss cheese though, and this sauce is a really great replacement. You can use it on pasta to make a homemade vegan mac and cheese, or you can use it as a dip for chips or for chopped vegetables. The ingredients for this sauce start with one cup of raw cashews. Now you really want to soak the cashews in hot water for about 15 minutes to help them soften up. And then I rinse and drain them using a fine mesh colander. Other main ingredient for this sauce is nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is sometimes called nooch in the vegan community. It's a deactivated yeast product and it has a cheesy flavor. I really like this brand because it doesn't have any additives. You can use nutritional yeast in a lot of ways, but it goes perfectly in this recipe. I just measured out one fourth of a cup of the yeast for my cheese sauce. The other ingredients include a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, and then a half a teaspoon of sea salt, a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric to help add an extra punch of yellow color to the sauce. Turmeric is also anti-inflammatory, so I like to use it whenever I can. And you can feel free to get creative with the spices for your cheese sauce. If you want to make it a little spicy, you can add a fourth of a teaspoon of chili powder, or you could add dried oregano or whatever you like to help give it even more flavor. So let's make the sauce. So first I'm going to add the cashews. And next we'll add our half cup of unsweetened almond milk and the nutritional yeast and the salt and spices. Okay, <laughs> just wanna make sure it's locked on. So this is the on off button. This is a, um, a dial and this is a pulse button. So we'll start it just on low and then I'll crank up the speed, ready? Ugh. So we didn't need the tamper for this recipe. Oh my 
got. So we have to taste this. This is the tamper, by the way. And the tamper you use if you need to push ingredients down into the blender, you use it like that. And the tamper will not hit the blade, so it's safe to use. Let me grab a spoon. I have this long latte spoon, I think it's called. I don't know, but it works perfectly for a Vitamix. Okay, I have to try it. So I would say blend this for about 45 seconds. Mmm, oh my gosh. Wow, it's so cheesy. Oh, you're gonna love this. And I taste the garlic. It has amazing flavor. So I hope you guys like this recipe. I'm gonna create a playlist just for Vitamix recipes since I have my brand new old Vitamix. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.